<laughs> Hello, so Komato Cybex, the YouTube commentator with a 100% no dubstep guarantee, and I'd like to talk about something that absolutely annoys me. I hate these, I think they should go, they piss me off, and I'm sure they piss off quite a few other people too. Uh, they are the support kill streaks or point streaks, and uh, I'll be honest, I think that uh, they're for noobs that can't string a couple of kills together. I know somebody that's not a complete noob that tends to uh, use these, and I try, I'm trying to persuade him to uh, move on to the assault streaks or the specialist streaks, because anyone who uses these, I tend to find doesn't have the skill to actually get an assault kill streak or a specialist kill streak and you only need what two or three kills to get the lowest one it's not even that difficult is it unless you're playing against uh, a team that likes to uh, spawn trap in which case you might as well get out of the game because you're just going to be sat there dying over and over again no matter how skilled you are you're going to be dead before you can do anything anyway I'm going to go through the different uh, support kill streaks and uh, what I think should happen to them uh, first off, you've got the support UAV. It's exactly the same as the assault UAV. It's not worth having. Get rid of it. It's basically just uh, well, it's redundant, isn't it? Uh, next up is the counter UAV. Uh, that's got to stay. That's definitely a good thing uh, because it's been in the game for at least since Modern Warfare 2, and uh, it's always useful to throw one up whenever the enemy throws a UAV up. Havoc is about, say, a four kill streak uh, like it was in the previous two Call of Duty games. Next up, ballistic vests. Now, this is going to be a bit uh, biased against the ballistic vest because I tend to find uh, when an enemy wears them, that it takes about two or three times more damage than normal. But when I wear them, they do absolutely bugger all and I'll die in the same number of bullets as, uh, say, if I'm not wearing it. Airdrop trap. Uh, no one ever falls for these. All they do is just litter up the uh, battlefield, and let's be perfectly honest, they're perf completely useless. The only time I'd ever find a use for them is if someone is ganging around somewhere, and then you throw uh, the you throw the little marker right into the middle of them, and then they come down. Well, then it comes down, and uh, hopefully someone is su too stupid to figure out what's going on, and they get crushed by it. But let's be honest, I don't think anyone that plays uh, Modern Warfare 3 right now is actually stupid enough to fall for these. Because it's just so obvious to tell when somebody's, uh, when it's a fake. Because no one will go for it for about 30 seconds and I just look at that and think, Fake! That's a fake! Not worth having! I'm not going to go and get that. Or I'll go to it and it says, Juggernaut, and I think, Duh! That's obviously a fake! I've only ever once or twice seen someone get an assault juggernaut from a care package. It just doesn't happen. Sam turret uh, is supposed to shoot things down, but he's not even that good at it. Uh, if you really want to shoot something down, get a stinger on your class. Uh, a good idea would be maybe to get a uh, MP7 or one of the submachine guns as your primary, and then have your secondary as the stinger, so that when someone does throw a kill streak up that you want to get rid of, you just pop out your stinger and uh, off you go. Some people do get annoyed when people do that, uh, but it is part and parcel of the game, and it makes sure that uh, it's not the game isn't dominated by the first team to get a half decent kill streak like uh, it was in Modern Warfare 2. Recon drone, I freaking hate these. They're like wasps. They're like houseflies, annoying insects that have to be swatted. All it does, you end up with one person lying on the ground doing absolutely nothing, other than flying this little stupid remote helicopter around and about. You've got the rest of their team that uh, spot the odd player if the uh, remote if the remote helicopter can actually spot them, which half the time it can't, and the uh, thing sends them flying into walls and whatnot. Uh, and then you've got the opposing team that all that, all that happens is uh, they, get their, they get their screens flashed, they get their radar go fuzzy, and all it does to any, everyone in the game, it just pisses them off. Except for maybe the stupid little player who will sit there and think, Oh, the little remote control helicopter! Oh, I'm going to go play with it! Oh, it's so fun! It's so, it's so fun! It's so much better than shooting people! Uh, Security if you think alpha. that, please play a different game. This is Call of Duty. This isn't, uh, oh, wow, it isn't something like Roller Coast Tycoon or something. Uh, you advanced UAV. That's got to stay. In fact, make it better. Uh, I think this should do... Uh, this would be exactly the same as the uh, Blackbird from Black Ops. It spots everything, including people hiding in corners uh, with Assassin Pro. So uh, it's, you can go around and think, Oh, I think there's someone camping in there. And then you shoot them before they even realise it. Uh, either that or get them to uh, start moving around, because let's be honest. 
if you if you're camping in the corner, but uh, the enemy knows exactly where you are, there's no point camping. You're gonna get killed anyway. Someone's just gonna throw a grenade in there, and you're dead meat. So uh, that has to be an assault kill streak, I reckon. About eight, like it was in Black Ops. Maybe nine, because you can you can chain them together in Modern Warfare 3. Remote turret. No point having this. It's uh, very very similar to the sentry gun on the assault kill streak list, and uh, well, if you uh, actually have to use the remote turret rather than uh, have it just sit there doing it for you while you go around and get other kills then it's, it's a bit redundant really, it's not the sort of thing you really want to have to use and the fact that you start behind it means you, once your turret goes down you're probably going to go down about half a second later uh, Stealth Bomber that could stay, have it as say a 7 kill streak along the lines of the attack helicopter because it was 9 in Modern Warfare 2 people complained it was underpowered, no one ever used it and uh, well, if you bring it down to seven, you're more likely to get people using it because you get these times that uh, you can get no kills at all if everyone happens to be inside buildings. And in Modern Warfare 3, there are a lot of buildings you could go inside. EMP. This is probably for me the second most annoying of these support kill streaks because it just knocks out everything you've got. It's bad enough that it gets rid of all your kill streaks, all your helicopters, and your aircraft, and everything like your UAVs. But then it goes and knocks out your red dot site. I'm sorry, but that is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Get rid of the EMP. It's annoying. Juggernaut Recon. Uh, I don't even know why that's there because it's uh, it's meant to be something where where the te where the player will take on on the damage where their teammates get the kills. This doesn't happen. They basically use it the same way as the assault juggernaut. They'll uh, just go out and get the kills themselves. They use the right shield to watch their back while they use the USP to go around, go around and kill people. Uh, I must confess, I've done that in free for all before, uh, just to, just to test out some of the support kill streaks because I don't use them. I don't want to go anywhere near them because it it just says to me, you're a noob. That's it. You're a noob. Let's go airdrop. Uh, as an assault kill streak, that wouldn't be bad. Say, have it as about nine or ten. It was 8 in Modern Warfare 2 as an emergency airdrop, but there are some, this is actually better than the emergency airdrop. A, because the uh, care packages don't go scattered around the entire map for just a complete random and being nicked by other people. They go exactly where you want them to go. And also, uh, they, also they get protected by the Osprey gun, which is, all, well, which is automated in this case, but still, there is a level of protection, so you, it's not easy for enemy players to go around and just nick them at complete random. As used to ha oh, as used to happen in Modern Warfare 2, where you get uh, you pick up, say, a UAV and maybe some ammo, and then the enemy picks up an AC-130, and then you're like, "Well, that was totally worth it, wasn't it?" Anyway, this is my this is the end of my little rant uh, about support kill streaks and why they have to go and what should happen to the ones that are actually even there. Uh, if you like what you hear, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, he please hit the subscribe button, and this is me for another vi video. Thank you and good night.